Good morning and welcome to this, our service of Holy Communion for the second Sunday of Easter. A very happy Easter to all of you. Thank you to everyone who emailed me or rang me to just say how much they enjoyed their Easter service last week. For me, it was special. It was different. It was wonderful to be able to share it, knowing that you were there sharing alongside me. So this morning, we begin our service with a hymn. So we meet in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, The first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, Love your neighbour as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these, on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. Lord, have mercy. So in baptism, we died with Christ, so that as Christ was raised from the dead, we might walk in the newness of life. Let us receive new life in him as we confess our sins in penitence and faith. Most merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we confess that we have sinned in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart, and we have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. In your mercy, forgive what we have been, help us to amend what we are and direct what we shall be, that we may do justly, love mercy and walk humbly with you, our God. Amen. Like Mary at the empty tomb, we fail to grasp the wonder of your presence. Lord, have mercy. 
like the disciples behind locked doors. We are afraid to be seen as your followers. Christ, have mercy. And like Thomas in the upper room, we are slow to believe. Lord, have mercy. And so, Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy upon us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Collect for the second Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. Almighty Father, you have given your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth. Through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. You that are Israelites, listen to what I have to say. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested to you by God with deeds of powers, wonders and signs that God did through him among you, as you yourselves know. This man, handed over to you according to the definite plan and foreknowledge of God, you crucified and killed by the hands of those outside of the law. But God raised him up, having freed him from death, because it was impossible for him to be held in its power. For David said concerning him, I saw the Lord always before me, for he is at my right hand, so that I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart was glad and my tongue rejoiced. Moreover, my flesh will live in hope. For you will not abandon my soul to Hades, or let your Holy One experience corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life, and you will make it me full of gladness with your presence. Fellow Israelites, I may say to you confidently of our ancestor David that he both died and was buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Since he was a prophet, he knew that God had sworn with an oath to him that he would put one of his descendants on his throne. For seeing this, David spoke of the resurrection of the Messiah, saying, He was not abandoned to Hades, nor did his flesh experience corruption. This Jesus God raised up, and of that all of us are witnesses. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive for evermore. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now when it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, 
and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. And if you retain the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger in the mark of the nails, and my hand in his side, I will not believe. A week later his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. And although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which were not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that through believing you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. We say together, we believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. And on the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. now time come to a time of intercession. So in a moment of silence before we begin, let us hold all those who are on our hearts at this time. All our friends and our neighbours, our family and those whom we care for. And we remember too all those who are not known or loved by anyone apart from God. We lift them up to the Lord in prayer at this time. The power of the Spirit. Let us pray for grace to do the works of faith. Grant to the church the gathered people of the gospel, 
wisdom to know and power to proclaim the good news of the resurrection. Make her ministers strong in the Holy Spirit to bring pardon and healing in the name of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world where many wish to believe but are held back due to doubt. Open the way to the freedom that is in Christ, that his peace may prevail among the nations and in the hearts of all people. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Grant to us, our families, friends and neighbours, the grace of the resurrection. Break through the closed doors of our fear and doubt and give us the faith that need no sign but the knowledge of divine love present among us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Have mercy on all who suffer persecution for their faith, who must meet in secret and cannot worship openly. Give them strength in their need. Give light to those who oppress them, so that all who trust in the resurrection may be free to share their joy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so we pray now for the departed who trusted their Lord in this world and now see him in the fullness of his glory. May their sins be forgiven and may we who now follow in faith share with them the promised blessing. We pray in the name of Christ by whose wounds we are healed. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of our Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So the risen Christ came and stood among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. They were glad when they saw the Lord. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. We now come to the time of our Holy Communion. Once again, I receive this communion on behalf of all of you, all of us who would normally be gathered together but are unable to at this time. So please do join with me at home in an act of spiritual communion remembering that Christ is in our hearts. Christ is with us now and we are with one another. The risen Lord Jesus Christ, we believe you and we all we heard is true. When you break bread, may we recognise you in the fire that burns within us, that we may bring light to your world. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, almighty and eternal Father. And in these days of Easter, to celebrate with joyful hearts the memory of your wonderful works. For by the mystery of his passion, Jesus Christ, your risen Son, has conquered the power of death and hell and restored in men and women the image of your glory. He has placed them once more in paradise and opened to them the gates of life eternal. And so, in the joy of this Passover, earth and heaven resound with gladness, while angels and archangels and all the powers of creation sing forever the hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
And so we praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit, that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and the blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And supper was ended. He took a cup of wine and again he praised you. He gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross and for bringing before you the bread of life and the cup of salvation. We proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. The Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people and gather us into your loving arms and bring us with St Mary, St Matthew and St James and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray with confidence as our Saviour Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So I break this bread to share in the body of Christ. And though we are many, we are one body because we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world and blessed are those who are called to his supper. But Lord I am not worthy to receive you but only say the word and I shall be healed. Most merciful Lord your love compels us to come in. Our hands were unclean, our hearts were unprepared. We were not fit even to eat the crumbs from under your table. But you, Lord, are the God of our salvation, and share your bread with sinners. So cleanse and feed us with the precious body and blood of your Son, that he may live in us and we in him, and that we, with the whole company of Christ, may sit and eat in your kingdom. Amen.
So let us pray. Lord God, our Father, through our Saviour, Jesus Christ, you have assured your children of eternal life and in baptism have made us one with him. Deliver us from the death of sin and raise us to new life in your love, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We say together, Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give light to the world. Keep us firm in the hope that you have set before us so that we and all your children shall be free and that the whole earth live to praise your name through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we sing our final hymn. so a final blessing. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. Amen. God the Holy Spirit, who filled the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you to fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and all those whom you love and care for this day and always. Amen. So with the power that raised Jesus from the dead at work within you, stay at home to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. And in the name of Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia.